Hi, my name is David Bragg. I'm executive director of Christians United for Israel in the United States. June 20th, 2015 was an extremely important date for Christians United for Israel. On that day, we gathered in London, England to launch Kufai UK, Christians United for Israel in the United Kingdom. Now we know launching a Christian pro-Israel movement in Europe isn't going to be easy. There is increasing delegitimization of Israel throughout the UK and Europe. There's rising anti-Semitism throughout Europe. But it is precisely this rising tide of hate that demands from us that we no longer be silent. On June 20th, 2015, we stopped being silent. That is the day Kufai began speaking out for Israel and the Jewish people in the United Kingdom and beyond. Just like in the United States, the original supporters and leaders of Kufai UK were those who have long listened to and supported John Hagee Ministries. So we began this exciting evening with a powerful speech from John Hagee himself. God created Israel with an eternal covenant, and that covenant still stands. Jerusalem is the capital of the state of Israel and always shall be. It's time for the Christians in Europe to push back. Take the ground back. Let me say this very clearly. If you have a thin skin, hit the door, catch a cab, get on the tube, because supporting Israel is not your thing. We also heard from a man who's been a driving force behind the creation of Kufai UK, Mr. Des Sterrett. Who knows whether Kufai has come to the United Kingdom such a time as this. Next spring, we're planning to host a Westminster summit, and then later in 2006, we'll hold our first official Night to Honor Israel. We want to educate and inspire Christian support for Israel, so that united we can say, because I'm a Christian, I stand with Israel. Of course, Israel was very excited to hear that we were starting Kufai UK, and they sent to be with us the Deputy Ambassador of Israel to the United Kingdom, Mr. Eitan Na'e. We need you. Israel needs you. Friends of Israel, you are Zionists. When I sat with Desmond in the embassy, we spoke about the opening of Kufai office in London. I didn't know that that dream is going to come true so fast and thank all of you here and your friends and your family and people who don't know yet that they're going to be friends of Israel. In launching Kufai UK, we thought it was important to hear from Colonel Richard Kemp, a man who led British forces in Afghanistan, who understands what it is to fight terror and who defends Israel bravely and boldly throughout the world making sure everyone realizes that while Israel defends her citizens, it does so while upholding the highest of moral standards and respect for human life. It's quite right, it's quite right that Britain, the United Kingdom, should be Israel's closest friend in the whole world. Israel has been attacked by standing military forces in a number of wars, by terrorist assaults from all directions, and has throughout prevailed. Israel will continue to prevail. Ladies and gentlemen, we in this room are Christian soldiers. And I know that I can count on you, all of you. And I know that it's a privilege for all of us to help Israel fight against whoever lifts a hand against her today. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. It's time for the Christians of Europe to open their mouth and openly rebuke anti-Semitism in its every form and every expression.